All right, here's a video on extra inputs to help you time something. This is a really important aspect of, let's say, safe jumping. So the example is gonna be with safe jumps. There are things like auto time safe jumps where you perform an action, you immediately jump, and you will always safe jump. So if I do sweep here, and regardless of when I hold up forward, whether it's in the beginning of the sweep animation or late into the sweep animation, I will always get a safe jump. For example, save jump, save jump. And I did the up forward input on two different time links. Now we get to the part where you have to manually time these things. If I do a combo, like jump heavy kick, stand light punch, sure you can and immediately hold up forward, I won't safe jump them. I did it way too soon. And obviously there comes the part of different knockdown timings and whatnot. That depends on the game, and you can consult that with the game itself. But the point is there are two different types of safe jump timings. They can be auto-timed or they have to be manually timed. You can help yourself by pressing an extra button to help you time a safe jump. So obviously there's stuff like visual cues, like you can tell by seeing how Guile falls, you know, how he bounces when he's knocked down, etc. to help you go for a safe jump or help you determine whether you can go for a safe jump. That's perfectly fine and you should do that too if your game has a visual tell like that. But what I do is also frame kill. I'll press a button to help me time these things. And that looks like this as an example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my combo and immediately after the DP hits, I'm gonna walk forward a little bit, press crouch medium punch and then immediately jump. And that'll help me time my safe jump. And it looks like this. So during that specific instance, I'm looking at two visual cues there. I'm looking for when he bounces the first time. If you've noticed, he falls. When he's hit by DP, he bounces twice when he falls. I'm pressing the crouch medium punch after that first bounce. That's my first visual cue. My second visual cue is my crouch medium punch. The moment that whiffs, or yeah, the moment that recovers, I should say, is when I go for that jump. And that helps me time my save jump very consistently. And it doesn't have to be the same button, right? You can help yourself time uh, a safe jump or let's say a hard link in a various amount of ways. 